Hey family, soldiers in Christ, and everybody else. I want to talk about Satan because Satan rules this this world. Remember the temptation of Christ. Satan offered him the world, the kingdoms in the world, the power and the glory. Can you believe that? Satan has the glory of the earth, the glory of the kingdoms. He rules things. He they're in his possession. He can give them to Jesus. That was the temptation. Jesus knew he was going to have to endure the wrath of God and pour out his blood upon the earth. And he didn't take the shortcut. He didn't take the easy route. He went to the cross for us and he rose from the dead to give us new life. And Satan rules this world and he wants everything to go smoothly. He wants people to live a righteous moral life. He wants people to be in harmony together. Except he doesn't want them to acknowledge Christ. He doesn't want them to see their need for Christ, to even think about Christ. And when people step outside of his um, harmonious system, for instance, like me, when I was a kid, I became a little wild doctor said I had attention problems, uh, hyper, and I would run around climbing the flagpole, chasing girls in the playground, fighting other, fighting the boys, and Satan didn't like that. Satan did not like that. A lot of people think Satan wants all this wild stuff to happen, but he doesn't because it draws attention to his kingdom, to his order to the way he rules things. And it's kind of like the Matrix, you know? When they went into the, whatever, the Matrix and all these people are walking with their business suits on and they're harmonious and they're clueless to what's going on. They're just slaves to normality. And when people start to act out, it draws attention and then people start to observe and examine what's going on. Hmm. Hold on a second, things aren't as going as well as I thought. And this brings people to the desire for Christ. When things aren't running smoothly, people want things to go smoothly. And so he wants moral, upright people who, don't, who act like they're okay. But he wants them to reject Christ, to deny Christ, and to not even realize they need Christ. And, yeah, so Christ came not to save the righteous, but sinners, and he came not to heal the whole, but the sick, and, yeah, so that's what I have to say about that.